Joss Butler will have no qualms about captaining England again should he be asked to lead the side when they seek a series clinching win over Australia at Trent Bridge on Tuesday. The wicketkeeper found himself unexpectedly thrust into the role when regular one-day international skipper Owen Morgan pulled out shortly before the start of Saturday's second one-day international in Cardiff. The extra responsibility did not appear to inhibit Butler who struck a typically blistering 91 not out in a total of 342 for 8 that also featured a century from Jason Roy. He then led the side from behind the stumps in the field as England won by 38 runs to go 2-0 up in a five-match series. Butler, reflecting on captaining England at Sophia Gardens, said, I enjoyed it, it's a bit more stressful going through lots of decisions, and the buck stops with you, as vice-captain you can suggest a few ideas, and hide behind that. Butler previously led England during a series win in Bangladesh in October 2016 when Morgan refused to tour because of security concerns. Butler said the burden of captaining England, the world's top-ranked OD side, was eased by the fact the team contained several experienced players, the guys know what they're doing, he explained. It's a very good side to captain, at times it captains itself, with defined roles for the players and a lot of experience in the group there is. A theory that the job of being a wicket-keeper demands so much concentration it leaves little spare capacity for the additional cares of leadership. But both England and Australia were led by keepers on Saturday, with Tim Payne now the tourists' full-time test and Odie skipper after Steve Smith was given a year-long ban for his role in March's ball-tampering scandal in South Africa. I don't think it's impossible to do so, said Butler. Lots of captains have been wicked keepers as well. The 27-year-old added, you've got a pretty good position to see what's happening and what's going on, so I don't think it's a problem. Sean Marsh scored a fine century to give Australia, the reigning world champions, hope of an improbable win on Saturday until leg spinner Adil Rashid and fast bowler Liam Plunkett took late wickets to seal 2019 World Cup hosts England's victory. There's a World Cup round the corner, so we need to keep polishing up in those areas we can improve, said Butler. It's very important for us to continue to show why we got ourselves to number one in the world, but we've got to keep going game by game, and not get ahead of ourselves. A complacent England are set to issue an update on Morgan's fitness, and that have sidelined all-rounders Ben Stokes and Chris Wokes on Monday. Stokes and Wokes were both ruled out of the early part of the Australia series, but the indications are that Wokes's thigh problem may be more severe than Stokes's torn hamstring.